Today we're going to build a motion activated MP3 player with Arduino and a PIR motion sensor. It's going to be really easy because we're using the DYHV20T MP3 player module. Again, I love this thing. Today I'll be using the DYHV20T MP3 player module, an Arduino Mega, an SD card, a motion sensor, and two 9 volt batteries, one with a barrel jack connector for the Arduino and the other with bare wire that I can plug into the power terminal of the MP3 player board. I'll also be using a Bluetooth speaker with a 3.5 millimeter audio cable and some jumper wire to connect everything. Setup for this project is not too difficult. If you uh, saw my previous video, I talked pretty extensively about uh, all the features that this has and you'll remember that I mentioned it has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack right here and that's what we're going to use today and we're going to use a bluetooth speaker because it sounds way better than just a regular 8 ohm speaker and we're going to use a 32 gigabyte SD card with our uh, files that have been formatted properly and if you haven't seen that uh, I included that in the last video as well and I'll link the video in the description so check that out and we're going to change the dip switch for this one to and remember it has seven modes we're going to use the UART serial port mode so one and two will be down and three will be up, All right? So that is the UART serial port mode and we will use Arduino Mega with this. All right, here is what I have for you today. I have my 3.5 millimeter cable plugged in here for the speaker. Let's go ahead and plug it into the back of this Bluetooth player. And if, you, if you've ever used oonts or whatever, however you pronounce this, uh, this is a great speaker. I've had it for a long time. I use it quite a bit. There it is, the Oonts Angle 3 Pro. I, I love this thing. Anyway, and you can do surround sound. You can buy two and connect them as well and play them from your phone or computer or anywhere that you have Bluetooth connection. So let's go ahead and plug it in. I bought it because it had a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for projects like this. So. All right, so that is connected. For our board, we connected uh, pins one and two. Pin one here, or I guess this is IO zero. It is connected to pin 10. And then the IO one pin on the MP3 player board is connected to pin 11 on Arduino. And then pin 12 is the busy pin on our mp3 player board and then this last pin here is ground and of course I just connected that to ground on the Arduino and then we connect our PIR motion sensor and it's just a it's the same one I use in all my videos same type of motion sensor and here you have ground and then signal pin in the middle and then the one on the left here is I use five mil or uh, five volts so that's a 5 volt pin and it came out so we will put that back in a 5 volt spot here on Arduino and then we connect the ground from the PIR motion sensor to ground on the Arduino alright so that's ground and then the signal pin the, the one in the middle here is connected to pin 3 those are all of our connections for powering uh, this project, I just went the easiest way possible. There are many different ways you could power this. I'm just going to power it separately. I'm just going to add two 9 volt batteries. These are lithium ion batteries and they last quite a while and I do like to use them. So I will go ahead and connect those. So I'll connect this one to the barrel jack over here and I will connect this one to the board. This will be 9 volt for the board. You need at least I think 7 volts for that. I have to double check but uh, I believe that's what it is. There we go. And that's it as far as connections. Then we'll stretch it out here and show you how it works. We'll talk about the code a little bit and that will be it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I've got more projects for this board. I do like it. I do think it's very useful very easy and very cheap actually when I bought it I think it was $13 and I got two so yeah it was great and then the dip switch here allows for all kinds of uh, different functions which I really like so in our code we include the software serial library 
and this sets up uh, pins 10 and 11 to talk to the MP3 module. Pins 12 and 3 connect to the MP3 module's busy status and the PIR motion sensor. This sets 10 as the max number of tracks available. If you have more, you can change this number to 15, 20, or 100, or whatever. If you have less, of course, you can change it to a lower number. This handles timing so that we avoid re-triggering playback too soon after a song ends. And this tracks if motion is detected by the motion sensor to start playing a song. In the setup, the MP3 serial is initialized to communicate with the MP3 module through pins 10 and 11, that's your TX and RX pins. And the motion sensor is connected to pin 3, and a busy signal from the MP3 module is monitored on pin 12, and that checks to see if anything's currently playing. A random seed is generated, and that allows random track selection, and a delay allows MP3 module to initialize. In the loop, motion detected checks if the motion sensor has detected motion, and if motion is detected and the MP3 player isn't playing anything, meaning the busy pin is high, the random track is chosen and the play song function is called to start playback. The play song function sends a specific command over serial to the MP3 module to start playing the selected track and then there's a one second delay and that just helps stabilize the MP3 state at the start of each song. So we've taken a look at the code and I'm just going to set this up here and we're going to trigger it just to show you how it works. Alright, I've got the motion sensor sitting right here and everything's connected, it will detect motion and play. I have chosen 10 very short audio files from YouTube so I don't get a copyright strike. So let's go ahead and set it off. All right. And then wait. And if it don't move, it should not go off. Um, also, if, if you use it in the sun, there's a good chance you could set it off. So you kind of want to be in the shade. Set it off again. All right, and the thing I like about this Bluetooth speaker is that I can go onto my phone, go onto the app, and I can turn it up, right? So now, now I can have a booming sound. It actually sounds really good. All right, I have it set up out here in the living room and it's on a table and if I move it should detect me and it'll reset and detect movement that's all I have for today I hope this was useful if it was be sure to like it by giving it a thumbs up also share it with other people who may find it useful Consider subscribing and I'll see you again with another video.